Hello everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. I am on my lunch hour, and so I wanted to bring to you a fun project. We're going to be using um, these colors. So I have Pumpkin Pie, Cajun Craze, Daffodil Delight, and Old Olive. And we're going to be pairing it with the Hello Harvest Bundle. <clears throat> and this was inspired by chicken scratch but I kind of did my own little thing here um, and got like the basic measurements for the main box and then went rogue and designed my little pilgrim hat box which I thought would be fun to have some little candy um, and then I made some cute little pins that you'll be seeing here come up shortly um, on a blog post. But before we get started, I just received my Stampin' Up! order. And I got a few things that I wanted to show you guys. You know, I got like some basic supplies. Like I got some basic white card stock. I got some more cutting pads, more dimensionals, more liquid glue. And then I'm hosting a Christmas get together and um, I'm going to be decorating these embossed treat, treat boxes um, or bags. And I already had a couple sets and I needed one more set to finish that off. So you'll be seeing those come up here shortly as well. We got some fun items here. So the first thing I got, um, I did purchase a new paper trimmer because my other one, I lost the score blade and I just felt like it was time for, for something new. So I'm excited to use that today. And then I got one of our new kits and I just wanted to show you guys because it just went live um, a little bit ago, but they come in these fun little boxes and... Um, I thought it was a perfect gift to give to somebody this holiday season. And what it is, is it's the um, birthday card organizer kit. And it has stuff to make cards, which I didn't realize. I thought it was just going to be the organizer. And then this beautiful organizer. So I think that's going to be really fun. Um, and then it came with a roll of tear and tape. Um, to put together so we might do this um next week and make a couple of cards and then i'll try to come up with some alternative cards um as well so i just wanted to show you guys how fun this kit is and how beautiful it is so stay tuned for something from that i have always been a good card card gifter um however i will admit this year for some reason I haven't been, so I don't know what my problem is. Okay, so before we get started um, cutting, I wanted to show you, so I wanted to use soft suede cardstock and ran out of that and realized after I put that order in, so I placed another order for that. So I am using discontinued paper, so don't shoot me. I'm using the cinnamon cider. I thought it, I had it in the spot where um, soft suede was, and I don't know why I did had that there. So we're going to go ahead and use that. I'm also using some of the Hello Harvest paper in Cajun Craze. And then we have um, some basic black cardstock here. And um, that is cut one by three, and then another piece that's one by one. And then I have a scrap. I already um, stamped it, but we're going to color this together really quick and um, then die cut it out and then I also have another piece of the rustic harvest designer series paper that is cut um, one and a half by one and a half okay so let's get started on coloring so I'm going to use our dark so saffron ink and I'm just going to color all the sunflowers. And 
and then we're going to come in and add some color to these. I'm going to come in with my pumpkin pie. I should have gone with the light. I went with dark. Woo wee. And then on this one, Sorry if I'm being quiet there, I was concentrating. And then I'm gonna do the center, the deep, or the dark Cajun craze. And then we'll do those leaves old olive I hope everybody's having a great Thursday I am I'm so glad that it's getting towards the end of the week I had a a kind of a tough weekend last weekend so I am looking forward to kind of just relaxing this weekend um, and getting some stuff done we've been really busy here at our house we put in some solar and I just feel like we've been go 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 and so I'm kind of looking forward to just hanging out I'm a crafter, so of course I'll be crafting a little bit here. Um, and then I'm going to add some light pumpkin pie to these um, little flowers here. And I think we got it covered. Okay, and then what I always like to do, because I'm that kind of a girl, I always like to add me some... Um, Wink Estella. Okay. And then we're going to want to bring in our mini cut and emboss machine. And all the papers fall on my desk. That's awesome, right? Okay. So we're going to want our one plate and our two plates. And then we need our dies. And I'm just going to carefully line up my my die there and then we'll cut that out perfect oh perfect and then we're going to want to cut out a leaf to put on the hat as well and there is a beautiful leaf in this set. So 
I just have a piece, a scrap piece of that Cajun craze color. Okay. So we got all that done. Now we're going to do some cutting of our cardstock and get our cute little hat put together. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is bring in your soft suede cardstock. Like I said, I made a mistake and grabbed the wrong color, but that is okay. And we are going to cut it by six inches by eight and a half inches. Okay. And on that six inch side, we want to score both sides at one and a half. Oh, it's so nice to have a score again. And then on that eight and a half inch side, we want to score both ends at three and a half. So three and a half, and then we're going to rotate it around and do three and a half again. And then we need two pieces that are cut at one by five and a quarter. So let's do five and a quarter. Oh, it's so nice to have a nice new paper trimmer. Nice, 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 my friends. Okay. So now what we want to do is bring in our bone folder. And we're going to burnish those score lines. Okay, then on that eight and a half inch side, we're going to cut up both the middle score lines to that intersecting score line, and we're going to wedge on the square. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to use our liquid multi-purpose glue or any adhesive of your choice and we're going to fold up to that back section on both sides. And we've got a, a here. And then we're going to glue down our front. So then what I like to do make sure that it's all glued down okay then we're going to add our strips that are one by five and a quarter there down at the bottom of the box okay whoops Uh, 
Uh, ever s I had it all nice and centered too. There, that looks good. And I'm gonna run my bone folder down. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, making sure to line up the edges. And then I'm gonna flip it over and glue that down. Then on the front, we are going to go ahead and add our little brim of our hat. Just like so. Then we're gonna add our one and a half by one and a half inch square of designer series paper. And then I'm just gonna add my one by one little black cardstock square right in the middle like we fed that through. So cute. Then we're going to take our little sunflower image and I'm gonna add glue there to the back half and just kind of tuck this in like it was part of our hat. And then I'm gonna add some glue and glue down our leaves. And there's a cute little harvest treat box. Very cute, very cute. Thank you guys for joining me today. It's always a pleasure to get to stamp and craft with you. Um, until next time, my friends, I will see you later. And stay tuned for some pro fun projects coming from that card organizer. Okay, I hope you have a blessed day and um, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.